Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a uh, 1998 Honda Accord. So the story is, was so the customer came in for the alignment and I uh, found out that the left front in a tie rod is just keep spinning and the vehicle was on the alignment rack so here I am I was adjusting this thing and I'm looking at it on the uh, alignment screen and why this thing's not moving even though I am turning this thing um, so many times so I stop then I uh, noticing the uh, inner uh, tie rod was not properly tightened down so and I uh, removed the uh, inner no I mean remove the uh, belly boot out and as you can see on the picture and well you know I uh, the uh, other person uh, installed the inner tie rod and it's not properly installed with uh, proper torque and it's got keep spinning on me as I uh, do the alignment so in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to uh, fix this inner tie rod problem and uh, how to uh, easy uh, to do this in uh, in a proper manner way so here we go see if uh, I be able to do this then uh, we'll see what's going on all right that begins so um, as you can see I did uh, remove the belly boot so just to inspect it and it was keep turning on me it's kind of loose so I recommended a uh, inner tie rod and uh, see as you can see right there yes, I can spin by hand so the previous uh, technician installed that thing is not properly uh, torque it down and it uh, did not see any uh, Loctite on there I prefer a uh, blue Loctite rather than uh, no Loctite and here is a tip for you guys and uh, don't ever do uh, don't ever use the uh, red Loctite just use the uh, blue Loctite you'll be good red Loctite is really hard to get uh, this thing out so that's a tip for you guys and uh, some manufacturer they recommend a uh, red Loctite especially on a truck um, particularly on a Dodge or a uh, um, Chevy for the inner tie rod if I remember right if my memory served me well so anyway uh, first thing first you want to uh, remove the wheel and remove the uh, outer tie rod once you done that and making sure you uh, take a good point of reference by uh, using your tape measure uh, measure the inner tie rod uh, at the um, at the gem nut so before you unscrew it just as you can see right there once the gem uh, nut is removed now you can remove the uh, bell uh, the uh, bell boot out and as you can see right there it's very loose so that's why this keeps spinning on me as I turn <laughs> that's a brand new uh, inner tie rod and once again I just want to make sure nothing really particularly uh, wrong with this one so Just making sure everything working well 
and before I uh, put the Loctite on so that is the washer that one uh, Dashin uh, forgot to uh, crush it so once everything is properly installed you're supposed to be uh, tapping that washer into the tie rod so it act as a uh, a uh, lock mechanism so just use your proper tool for the uh, inner tie rod as you can see right here you can torque this one into uh, about 55 foot pound but not too much okay as you can see right there is it's about right there oh not quite all right so that just about right and uh, I remember my first uh, inner tie rod job it was on a Honda too so I uh, remember how to use this so so this one is 1998 uh, Honda Accord just about that time that's my first inner tie rod I did so um, so the uh, story was uh, my first inner tie rod was nobody was uh, teaching me how to do it so I had to figure it out by myself so what I did was the went to the um, repair manual uh, just read the procedure and uh, if I remember right it was on a Mitchell or on data repair manual uh, it was kind of kind of vague you know like replace this and replace that remove this and there's no uh, really good diagram so I just I'm just taking a uh, a reading as I go by the by by it and without any pictures as you can see right there um, just remember to put your uh, lock uh, your jam nut where it's supposed to be when you be before you measure it once you do that just it just give you a uh, good approximately um, just about 20 degree or 30 degree off um, that's good so you don't have any uh, tire wear excessive but always I always recommend any tire rod job I recommend a alignment so making sure always recommend uh, alignment where th whether you are doing the uh, inner tie rod or outer tie rod so just say good so eliminate the tire wear as possible so anyway get back to my uh, story here um, so I just went by the uh, procedure just reading it along and uh, figure it out by myself so it was it was kind of first time it took me probably an hour or more <laughs> to do it 
probably probably up to two hours. So once you uh, get that thing handled, I mean, I mean, once I got that thing handled, um, it's pretty much easy uh, for a second job or beyond that. Is the first time is always a little bit um, challenging, I say. It's um, really uh, a learning experience once you get over that hump and it's really easy so that is my story for the uh, first uh, inner tie rod and in, if I remember right my second uh, inner tie rod was the Toyota 1998 to oh boy that was a difficult one because the uh, difficult one is the putting the uh, the belly boot on and clamp it onto the uh, rack. That is the most challenging thing ever. So once everything done, uh, as you can see right there, make sure you uh, get your new carter pin and do not use your old carter pin. I'm not the fan of uh, using the old card pin unless I do not find nothing. Uh, I didn't find any new card pin, so that's why I use the old one. So do not use the old one; just use a new one. So as you can see right there, um, the belly boot is a little bit challenging. Uh, you can use the metal clamp and a zip tied for the inner one as you, as you can see right there that's what I use on uh, zip tie zip tied is it's really good um, it's quick and easy rather than the uh, metal one so the metal one is kind of a little bit tricky to do it but if you, if you have a metal one just use a metal one it's easy and uh, as you can see right there, I uh, use the uh, zip tie. So I had a little bit challenging to put on the uh, the belly boot on the rack and zip tie it in. Oh, that one doesn't work, so I took it out. That one, I think, it was a little bit too tight. I tightened it down before, beforehand, before I put it back into the uh, rack. So there you go. So even though I uh, done this quite a bit, but sometimes I do make mistake. So I zip tie that thing too tight. So I have, so I had to get another one. As you can see right there. I just snuck that thing in it's big enough to uh, go over that that hump that belly boot humped <laughs> and I tell you what this one is a little bit um, tricky too oh there you go there you go my second one <laughs> second zip tie all right, the third one is over the the charms, you know. Third one is the charms. All right, let's try the last one here. Because um, the belly boot is kind of the ru the uh, rubber kind of soft, and I had a difficult time to put it on back to a rack over that groove as you can see right there so there you go third time is the charms just like that so 
So snip it off. The zip tie, the uh, end of it. And now you're gonna put your outer, uh, outer clamp back on and you are done. And make sure you do the alignment or recommend the alignment if you don't have the alignment machine. So that's it you guys. So that is it. And uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out to grow the channel. And by the way, I also have a master class um, that show you how to uh, maintain your car and your car to pull uh, to prolong your uh, vehicle. The link is down in the description. And I also have some free stuff for you guys to download as well. And the link is also in the description. So please check it out if you want to learn something new and uh, save some money by doing doing your own stuff. All right. And uh, that is it. So I hope you. Uh, enjoy my little story and my uh, car repair uh, inner tie rod and outer tie rod so it's pretty easy and uh, the tool is also in the link in the description you and you can get that from um, park store or anywhere even online so I will leave a link in the description for you guys too so that's it. I will see you next time. Luke is out.